I'd like to start off by thanking the ZOA and Morton Klein, especially for inviting me to speak today. I also want to thank Jeff Quantinance for, for that cool introduction. He's been my business partner for over 25 years. You know, my brother from another mother, we've been in the trenches together uh, through the ups and downs. I think we had the same spirit. We, we're both fearless. And so, um, you know, Jeff is my guy. And I really appreciate him for helping me write the contract with Black America. Um, it's a document that we wrote this summer, you know, after the death of George Floyd, uh, with the help of a lot of scholars and, and economists and people who, who know the lay of the land. And so I really appreciate you, Jeff, for that. I also understand that you have John Voigt on the program, and you know I had the pleasure of working with him in the 90s. We did a movie called Anaconda together uh, out in Manaus, Brazil, and it was cool. Uh, I didn't know that much about John, but everybody around me was excited for me to work with him. You know, I had a chance to check out a couple of his films. Uh, Coming Home was a great one. Uh, and then when he came to the set, it was amazing because he cooked fish for everybody. He was, you know, just this, you know, larger than life, uh, gracious host that started to cook fish. And it was it was cool to get to know him on that level. Uh, and, you know, one day we was filming, though, and, um, you know, everything was going good. And, and when it was time for me to do my close up, John disappeared. Uh, and I was like, where's John? And it was a stand in there. And so, so when it was time for John to do his close up, I decided to disappear. <laughs> and so John didn't like that too much. He came to my trailer. So I had to just let him know, Hey man, you know, if you want me to be there for you, you gotta be there for me. And I think we, we gained a lot of understanding that day. I think, uh, we gained a lot of respect for each other that day. Um, and from that day on, we were, you know, very uh, cool. He he showed me some John Cassavetes films that was incredible. Um, and it helped me when I was going to direct my my movie, The Players Club. So uh, thank you, John Voigt, for that. And, um, you know, so I, I want to again thank the ZOA, especially Morton Klein, um, who reached out and um, we spoke this summer. You know, this summer was was uh, in incredible and crazy, and um, it was very emotional for everybody, uh, especially with the pandemic. Um, you know, I go back to the death of Kobe Bryant um, and and the death of George Floyd, which was, you know, very emotional. It hit me very hard. It really uh, pushed me to write the contract with Black America, and. Um, you know, through that, um, you know, I, po I saw a picture that really, um, it, it, it hurt me. And I posted the picture. And when I posted the picture, I realized it was extremely hurtful too, to the Jewish community. Um, you know, at the time, you know, I was being called, you know, some pretty awful names. Um, and they were hurtful names. Uh, and so I was able to, to have a conversation with Morton Klein. And, you know, Morton, you know, he's known for, you know, taking no BS and really, um, you know, calling people out for who they are. And, you know, I wanted to let him know and explain to him and have him, um, you know, have a connection with me. And I think we made a human connection, which was great, because we started off talking about all the things we had in common. And, um, you know, he he uh, he grew up in a hood, <laughs> and, uh, you know, and I was bused to school. So I think, you know, in a lot of ways, we were able to, you know, I guess, be exposed to different races at an early age. And, um, he was, um, you know, he came away from that. Um, well, I came away knowing he's a great guy, but I believe he came away from that understanding that, you know, I'm not anti-Semitic. I'm not an anti-Semitic person. 
Um, I, I'm against anti-Semitism in, uh, in all aspects. I don't want to see, you know, any other community hurt or uh, people to uh, treat any community like my community has been treated. Uh, it's, you know, I would be an extreme hypocrite if I was against any other people on earth knowing how bad my people are persecuted. So, you know, um, if what I posted hurt people in any kind of way, um, then of course that was not my intentions and uh, I would never want to do that. Um, so, you know, I'm glad that Morton was able to see me for who I am and invite me to speak. And, um, and I'm very, um, you know, happy that you guys were able to hear me speak um, and understand that I don't want to bring any harm to uh, the Jewish community in any way, shape, or form. And I don't want to see any harm done to the Jewish community in any shape or form. Uh, I think, you know, it's, it's about time for, for all communities to live in peace. So uh, thanks, thank you once again for letting me speak, and I really appreciate it.